Hi, this is Adam. Uh, today I want to show you how I play the G major chord on the mandolin. So let's get started. Uh, so we're going to start with these two fingers, uh, first finger and your second finger. You're going to put your first finger on uh, the, the second fret, A string. So when I say on the fret, I don't mean literally on the actual metal fret. I mean between the first and the second fret. So if I say on the first fret, I mean between the nut and the first fret. If I say on the second fret, I mean between the first fret and the second, and so on, okay? So first finger on the second fret A string, and if you recall uh, uh, from a previous video, I explained that the mandolin is tuned in fifths, uh, meaning every five notes there's a, a string. So if you start with G, this is your lowest note, G, and you count up five from G is D, and then five from D is A, and then five from A is E. By the way, if you play, uh, or if you're interested in learning how to play the mandola, then um, uh, the first string would be C, uh, and then G, D, and A, and no E on the mandola. Uh, same with the mando cello. Um, this is a mando cello back here, and this is a mandola back here. Okay, so uh, back to the G chord. First finger on the second fret A string. Second finger on the third fret E string. Now, this is a, uh, this is a good beginner's G chord. Uh, you don't need anything else to play it. Uh, you just play the open G, the open D, uh, then the, this note, the B, and then finally the G, second finger on the E string. That's a really good, really easy beginner's uh, chord uh, for, for G. Um, so let's continue. Uh, then you're going to put your third finger on the fifth fret um, D string and then finally you're going to put your fourth finger on the seventh fret G string um, so let me show that to you again real slow so first finger on the second fret A string second finger on the third fret E string third finger on the fifth fret D string and finally, a fourth finger on the seventh fret G string. So it sounds like this. Okay, so let's do that one more time, real slow. First finger on the second fret A string. Second finger on the third fret E string. Thir uh, third finger on the fifth fret D string. And fourth finger on the seventh fret G string. So if you want to learn how to play bluegrass music, uh, you absolutely will need the G chord uh, because G major uh, is a very common um, key for a lot of bluegrass tunes. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I can think of uh, five or six tunes that are in the key of G. Uh, so you really, you really need to learn it. Um, uh, if you're interested in more information about bluegrass mandolin, um, check out some other videos that I've done in the mandolin playlist. So if you go back to the main YouTube channel, uh, my main YouTube channel, and you click the playlist menu, you'll see the mandolin lessons uh, playlist, and you can scroll through that and find um, some more videos about playing bluegrass. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm online all the time. Thanks very much for watching.